I know what you... What must I think? That it's foolish to search defendants for so few people? You told me the soldiers you lost were your best. Vital to retaking the city. You think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone, a wanderer. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder, and little else. But these warriors are more than a blade and shield. They are my family, nothing short. I've lost a city this week, I will not lose them too. I understand. And if your people yet live, you will find them. show you its splendor. Alfheimer, you say? Have you drunk a seer's concoction? No. I am as blind as they come. However, the light elves guide me through this realm, and I sense it. The path is fraught with delight. Energies the light elves dropped. And at the end, the third paradise. Wind blew. The wind blew? Higher than all the realms. Higher than Valhalla itself. I used the magic balls of Muspel, lit by the Light Elves to guide me. We will see the wind blue together. Please illuminate the path into Elfheimer. <coughs> <coughs> Light elves. The luxury of their strong souls. Here they are. Are you from here? I hail from Zila. Join Guthrum on his march through the swamps. But losing my eyes, they left me behind. Please, 
Illuminate the path into Elfheim. Your family? Friends? They're back in Zealand. But no need. I have the light elves whom love. Care for me now. Smells like a trap. Final leg to this journey. Yes, here. This is the path. The wind blew is across the Swan Road. I can see it. The river steed will be needed to cross. any unwanted attention. The Dark Elves. Oh, how they haunt me.
can have your wind blew now. In peace, old Drenger. Ah, yes. The realm is safe. For now. Hey, Drenger. This is Darwin's longship. He must have been panicked by a stray to such a place. Show me what lies ahead. Wolves. They've surrounded someone. Must be careful. I don't deserve this. Leave me! Run! Alan, you look terrible. What happened here? Saxons chased me into the fog, ran me smack into a nest of bandits. But Freya was on my side, and I saw them before they saw me. Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I am, and hardly standing myself. But with the blessings of Odin and Freya, they'll be feasting well with the gods. I've set a camp not far from here, marked by a beacon. Go there, Galen, and recover. Eivor and I will find the others. I'll head back to camp. And as I recover, I'll watch over the rest with a care that only Freya knows. He's a serious man, Galen. Yes, and a man of the gods. He carries them around in his mind as a tree bears its branch. <laughs>
Sooner, guide me. Yes, and a man of the gods. Bears its branches. It makes his mind heavy. I must be but careful. It keeps now. Our spirits... A group of Danes held captive. Follow the beacon. Our camp is at its base. We'll return when we found the others. Reeve and Gallen didn't always get along, but they've bonded since we took Grand Bridge. Sour blood between them. In a way. Both considered themselves my second and hated the other four. But I do not rank my family like I do my horses. Competition can mar the love between siblings for life. It can also bring out the best in people, if the fire is stoked right. Go, my eyes. Saxons surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. Look great.
the beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow, our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna, and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. They'll be grateful you risked your life to find them. I would be. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback. Galen, you look... well worn. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the corpse hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Yars Corner. Leif, you'd outlast any tempest. It's good to be back, Soma. All as one. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours. For Grandbridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather our strength and our wits, and at the break of dawn's light, we retake Grand Bridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. Looks like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp. Galen, is that right? That's right. You are Eivor, the infinite fighter, or forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Indeed. The Saxons pursued me, ran me bloody through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. And the wolves came. We all have our one day. The day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready. Well, it's good to see you breathing still. Leif. Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast. ...and a poem etched into the hall to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A longship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a watery grave. What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leif. Likewise, Ava. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. <laughs> You are Birna. And you are Eivor's sunbeam. You cut through the fog like the sun burns through ice. You're in high spirits, all things considered. The ambush. Losing your home. In this moment, yes. But ah, you feel that? The moment has passed. We are free to pursue the next. What a gift! It is good to have you in this fight, Birna. I like you, Eivor. You may help me here, or step on me, and by the look of you, I'd welcome either. I thought you'd be safe in the fog, but the uh. man's men and hunters pierced my boy through his heart. He the day is new, and the air is bracing. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's take your city back. That's what I like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grand Bridge. We've assembled there. Have care you do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Sigurd, none else. While you're on this ship, Dag, you fight for me. And for Soma's loyalty, we fight for her. <laughs> ah! Let's go! Sail! Catch the wind!
Can't raise the sail here. Mask, down! What's wrong with you? Hey, hold on, you! One on each side of the door. Move when you get the signal and not a moment before. Turn Grandbridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. <laughs> what are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, even. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those ridges dry without my guiding hand. Leave! Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens! Wigman, Wigman, let's try one final time. Quit Grant Bridge. And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life. Ha! I command Grant Bridge. I am master here. And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound. Let me give you some advice, old bear. The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. <laughs> now, Danes of Grandbridgeshire, retake what's yours. Look at Grandbridge. What has Whitman done to her? No time for that. We must free her first. Summer.
from me forever. Come face your death. Heathen eels. Wigmund is gone. He's gone. my feet. Eivor, to me. No sign of Wickman here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Argar coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the Shire know that Grandbridge is retaken. The sound of the horn means prosperity, long life, bounty. Why me? Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turned the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city.
Ah. My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating or mourning? You looked unsure. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I have heard this before, that the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantbridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me, and the three in my inner circle. You believe you were betrayed? I know I was. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen, and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. I hoped you might lend me your wits. You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task isn't yet done, it seems. Good. I sent Galen, Leif, and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. A betrayal so wicked, I cannot imagine. Yet someone willing to break an oath like that must bear some sign or defect. I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. Search the city, the tunnel, and here, a gift, for retaking Grandbridge with us. One of the few things I have left from my blood family. Soma, to understand your people well, I should better know you. How did you rise to the rank of Jalskuna? My king Guthrum led the summer army through this land. When he marched into Wessex, I volunteered to defend the city, to encourage trade so that our forces would be rich and strong if called upon. Guthrum agreed. So I grew the city up from very little, and I fell in love with her. It was a dagger to the heart to lose it, and a balm to have it back. If I can find your traitor, what will you do with them? They will die by my hand. No pain. No public humiliation. A traitor or no, the bastard is also one of my closest people. My friend. My family. Only I will bear the burden of causing their death. It will not muddy the minds of any other. That is enough. Why do you love Grandbridge so deeply? I was orphaned young, but old enough to remember it. I feel I've been reaching for a family all my life. Grandbridge is more than some silver boom. She's a place for me to build that family. For anyone who needs one. Wanderers, smugglers, and craftsmen alike. That's all. Good luck, Eivor. Thank you for doing this.
You, Dane, come closer. What do you want? You look to be a good fighter, but do you dare to face the greatest battle you will ever know? Of what do you speak? I speak of a terrible and monstrous incorporeal power whose name is feared across these lands. Fergal the Faceless, the most fearsome flighter in all of Grantbridgeshire. Ooh. Ooh. A flighter, is that all? Fergal the Faceless has silenced doubters before. Will you challenge him? I will face the Faceless. <gasps> My god, you are braver than most. Or perhaps more foolish. Come, I will give you a key. This key unlocks Fergal's lair, which you see now before you. That's a house. No, no. It is a den of nightmares. A pit of death from which few have ever escaped unharmed. By words. Unharmed by words. Go. Go now. And God be with you. A new victim? What fool dares to challenge the might of Fergal the Faceless? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor of the Raven Clan? My next meal. Are you prepared to be eviscerated with words? I think I will survive. I am Fergal the Faceless, and I am clever and strong. But you're not. You're ugly and weak, and you're a big smelly coward. You're probably too scared to even face me, now that I think about it. Sorry, have you started? Yes, obviously. I said you're probably too scared to face me. See your rhythms how a fool would attempt to debase me. Ah, you think you can win with rhyme, do you? Well, if you like to rhyme, listen this time. I'm very brave. My flighting is grave. I'm not a knave, and it's victory that I really crave. Your tongue is fat. You're a sprat. You whine like a little brat. And we are in a spat. Says a flighter who hides in a hole like a rat. Oh, you've made a terrible mistake. Be ready for my finishing blow. I am the best at flighting. I have got powerful skills. I'm strong as an ox and clever as a fox. I'm sharp as a dozen hawks. Let me show you my skills and then you I shall kill dead with my... my skill. If we are arguing as to your talent, I shall happily die on this hill. You... Uh, well... I... Uh, just one moment. I, I... I need to think. Give me time. Fergal the Faceless or Fergal the Wordless? No, you get ready. The killing blow is... It's coming. It's... Fergal? Hello?
Hi, lady. I have returned to deal with your cats. Oh, yes. You. My cats. You're the one who talked about that strange Freya. She's a goddess, much like you, with pious and mighty cats that help her fight. Show your claws, good lady. Oh, yes. Mighty. That is what they are. And me, their goddess. Hmm. <laughs> If you want, use this key and see for yourself, Ooh, my pretty babies. There you are. Head to the fields. Tut tut. Fight your battle. Cats are sacred beings. They help keep harmony. Your rat problem has been taken care of, pray to Freya. I never thought the meow of cats could soothe my soul. Take this key. In my house I have some goods. Please help yourself. This is your kingdom, you say? Indeed it is. Northex. And I am its first and reigning king, Equald. And as sovereign, I seek a keen ally to secure my strength. Kingdom? This island here? Yes, from shore to shore. My brothers and I came upon this unclaimed land some months ago, and found it suited to our ambitions. Sadly, my brothers were drowned in a terrible squall soon after, along with our riches. There was an arm ring among them. To you, I offer this arm ring in exchange for my loyalty. Find the ring among the wreck, and you may call a king your friend. A good arm ring can be as important as blood to the heart. If I find it, I will let you know.
I found your arm ring amidst the wreckage of your ship. By all that is great, I cannot believe my eyes and ears. Now you are pledged to the kingdom of Northex. That will show him. Your past is dubious. I cannot trust a man who lost his brothers so easily, and so suspiciously. What really happened? Nothing! The arm ring is mine. MINE! This kingdom was to be one of the greatest in England. The ring shine has blinded you. Now it blinds you with blood, you see. You have broken the sacred alliance with the greatest of kingdoms. Oh! <laughs> 